Sunday night in Vegas, in game one of a series between the Golden Knights and the Minnesota Wild, Vegas defenseman Braden McNabb delivered a high elbow to Wild forward Matt Zuccarello. This is one of those across-the-body angle of approach hits where the defenseman skates perpendicular to the path of travel of the opponent. In these types of flybys, the timing has to be just right because contact can only happen at the precise moment their paths intersect. If one player makes any amount of adjustment, the timing will be thrown off and the check will be missed, and this is exactly what happens here. McNabb was severely overcommitted. Zuccarello saw it coming and stopped up, lifting his upper body back and out of the way. McNabb was going to shoot right by Zuccarello and miss completely, giving up a dangerous zone entry in the process. So instead of missing, he reached out with his left arm and basically backwards clotheslined Zuccarello across the neck and chin and whatever else happened to be at that height. McNabb has a history of these types of plays, and while he has performed them legally in the past, he also has a tendency to hit with his arm and elbow more so than with his shoulder, and doesn't have a problem launching when necessary. Tough Call would have suspended him twice this season alone for two very similar hits at the exact same spot on the ice. Assuming no prior history, it's possible I'd classify this as a hockey play gone wrong where a player is just panicked a little and trying to get a piece rather than miss altogether. McNabb has proven this to be a habit of committing to contact no matter what and has to be addressed as such. That elevates this to a non-hockey play gone wrong and into the 3-5 to five game suspension category. In summary, this is elbowing by a player with a consistent history of similar acts. Tough call would suspend Brady McNabb of the Vegas Golden Knights four games for elbowing.